R W O P, what a great community. R W O P, cooking cream and broccoli. Now that's a cheer for you today, and I hope cooking cheers you up just as it does for me. Today I'm going to do what we call in theater is a triple threat, and that's when you can sing, dance, and act. So I'm going to do a little dancing with my food, which is my triple B, and it's broccoli, bacon, and beans. And what's going to tie that all together is the Philadelphia savory garlic cooking cream. <laughs> this is definitely a dish you're going to want to take to your next barbecue. <laughs> Okay, if you've ever seen the movie Baby's Day Out, I can't stop thinking of this line from it. It talks about, it's like the cop comes up and he's like, eh, smell the barbecues out. But you have to watch the movie to know exactly why I'm laughing. So Memorial Day is coming up. That's our next big barbecue here. And so I'm making this dish and it's going to have lots and lots of vegetables. We've got broccoli that's chopped, kidney beans. I'm using onion, sour cream, shredded fontina cheese It's going to melt really nicely into this, bacon, and of course our Philadelphia cooking cream that's the savory garlic flavored. I'm going to start assembling and tell you why I actually use so many great vegetables in all of my cooking and why I like to incorporate that. It's not only are they healthy, but actually four years ago I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder that uh, really made me have to be conscious of how I ate, what I ate, when I ate, and how much I ate. And it's, trust me, this is, if you know anything about autoimmune diseases, it's, it's not fun to have to redo your life for them. It actually started shutting down my body and everything in it, and just, it slowed down my metabolism. I was in the doctors all the time, in the labs. I mean, I had so much blood taken from me. I'd always end up with holes in my arms. They'd have to prick me three or four times in, in both arms. I would walk away with bruises. And I would have to walk around feeling so horrible um, about um, how I was feeling and limited with friends and everything. And um, it really, really made me depressed. And that's one of the reasons why I actually love cooking because it became a therapy for me to be in the kitchen, to be able to make myself healthy by, by something like this. It was relaxing. I could uh, really gear up my body to make the healing process uh, work because for me, I have something that's really not curable. Um, they, and the doctors even said, in my specific case, with all my blood work, they would say, I don't know why it's coming back this way. Um, it's, it's strange, you know, everyone else is just like this. But for me, I was the unfortunate case of, of an exception. So it was always a battle. And I just, I want to bring this up a little bit just to encourage any of you out there that may have the same thing that I've gone through. And to know that just get in the kitchen and it, it will really cheer you up to be able to do something you love for yourself, for others, and to know that you're doing your body good. And that's really why I like to add in all those vegetables. And the one thing that this Philadelphia cooking cream has done is it's actually made a lot of things more exciting in the kitchen uh, to adding a lot more of that flavor. And that's like the savory garlic one, it just, I mean, it has that great tangy flavor in there of the cream cheese and then you add in all that garlic flavor I mean who doesn't love garlic I'm just gonna mix that all in and incorporate it together I've added everything except for the fontina cheese so we can see all the bacon bits in there and I mean vegetables too what the great thing is it just ends up giving such great color in all your dishes so on my plate I love to see all that color I love to know that I'm, I'm doing something really good for myself. So after, like I mentioned in another video, I do a lot of exercising. After I exercise, go for a great run, and I fix myself something really healthy, really tasty, then I, I really feel good, I really feel positive about myself, and that has helped me to bring me out of the whole depression and, and really just 
I like to be uh, natural health, and so it really helps in the whole process of dealing with lots and lots of doctors and knowing that I can I can help myself. So I hope that cheers you up too. Got this all in my pan now, and I'm putting. I left about this much of the Fontina cheese, and just gonna sprinkle that nice layer on top before I put the finishing touch on it. With that extra ooziness coming out when you put your spoon into it. And now here I've just taken, as all of you I'm sure know, you take up some crackers and uh, use a rolling pin to smash them down. These ones are actually gluten-free crackers that I've used, so that works best for me and in my life. And I just want to put a layer of those as well. It's good, I like them, to have some that are smaller pieces and some that are larger pieces. Adding my little touch of Paula Deen here, drizzle some melted butter over top. And then we're just going to get that in the oven at 375. Bubbling. You cannot say you don't want to just dive right into that. <laughs> My broccoli, bean, and bacon casserole is now out of the oven and it looks so delicious. I cannot wait to share this with other people too, but for me, I can't wait to try it right now. So, look at that gooey, cheesy. Woo. So I do have to say before I take a bite of this, I'm going to say it fast because I really want to get to it, is that while I was in college, a lot of my friends were out getting fast food and other things that I couldn't have, but to be honest, when it came down to it, they'd always be looking over and like, what do you have? I want, I want that too. So, you know, it's one way to take a challenge and that's, I want to take the positive way on it and get the best out of it. So. Hmm. Got all that creaminess. Woo! Look at that. And the crunch on top. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, on that note, my real women of Philadelphia community, I want to give you another cheer as I send off. R W O P. Hope you had fun with me. R W O P. That's my triple B.